We've got a very interesting earbud here called Mifo S. And as you know, I have done quite a good number of uh, reviews regards to earbuds and still I'm getting a lot of requests whether I'd be interested to review earbuds. And this one I couldn't refuse because the way how this earbud is designed, it has these two horns that seems to be very ergonomically designed. So that's gonna fit right into your ears. And it has a very interesting pattern, all these texts and it looks very energetic indeed. And I just love the green color as well here. Um, and this one especially seems to have a sleep design as well. In other words, you will be able to listen to this while you go to sleep. We all know that the sleep buds are very expensive and there's a very good re reason behind it. This one is actually a pricier earbuds, but if it can fulfill the function of a sleep buds, then you're actually saving a lot of money. So if you look at the back side of the package, it actually says touch key, six mics, noise cancelling. That sounds very interesting. Um, balance armature uh, speaker driver unit. That also sounds very interesting. Sterile um, earplugs and battery life up to 40 hours. That's really good, including the charging case, of course, and um, rated IP6 or 7. I think that's what they meant, waterproof and dustproof as well. So this is not only for the sport use, but also for the sleep use as well. So let's get into the unboxing. Here it goes. Let's open it up. And it slides out. Oh, I love the logo and the mono truth. Whoa, look at that. That's a really nice package, I have to say. Operation guide. Okay, so those are the quick instructions and descriptions. Got the really nice green flat uh, USB C cable. That's really good as a standard. And I think this is the smaller size and the larger size as well. Whoa, okay. It's like a metal feel. Um, comparing to all these plastic feel, it's like a metal coated um, paint and it's a different class, people. I just love it. We got the really nice earbuds. That's how it looks like. Pa follows the pattern of the actual cover. So I think they're gonna fit quite well on my ear. So let's try it out. So I'm actually on my sofa, lying down sideways. It's not bad, actually. Yeah, that's very convincing indeed i can actually use this for a sleep bud that's amazing because the problem with the sleep bud is that most of them other than the one that i actually reviewed a while ago demands that you listen to their own soundtracks and own sound system but this one you can actually listen to youtube so the unique feature about this earbud is that it actually has a mild noise cancelling transparency mode and the strong noise cancelling now i can't really tell the difference between mild noise cancelling and strong noise cancelling i actually play the music in the background and it's very difficult to distinguish. Yes, I can feel kind of like 20%, 30% noise being canceled out, but it's not as good as the Sony XM4. Um, now the transparency mode, yes, it does make things here a bit better than comparing to the mild noise cancelling and the strong noise cancelling, but uh, it's not as good as, as if you take off the um, earbud itself. Normally, what I understand about transparency mode is that it actually amplifies, that it almost feels like you don't actually wearing a earbud. But anyhow, the other unique thing about it is that you actually tap three times and it will turn on to the sleeping mode and you have to turn off the Bluetooth and it will automatically uh, shuts off in 10 minutes. So that will really help you to go to sleep. So that's very interesting indeed. So as you can see on my left hand side, I got Mi 4S connected and on my right hand side, I got the Sony XM4 simultaneously connected to my Galaxy Z Fold 3. So we're going to listen to Utopia um, by Ashtosh. So here it goes. Ooh, beats are the same quality. Okay, so the boom, boom, boom. That's really good. That's very promising. Ah, okay. Right, so my interpretation on this whole thing is that the treble is also same, but I think the mid Sony XM4 is slightly superior. Normally, if one earbud is superior to the other, the sound of the center seems to shift to one way or another. It's actually dead center but the mid, I have to give to Sony XM4. But Mi 4S is still very good indeed. It's slightly different. Both of them are really good sound. I think one of the reasons could be my theory, because I'm not an expert. 
that the Sony XM4 has a better noise cancelling. But still, it's very good. It's impressive because you can see the size difference of these two earbuds and they're almost performing the same. So how could that be? Interesting. So Mi 4S is now connected to my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and it's actually used as a microphone a function and um, you could clearly hear the sound is not that bad actually. Um, one thing I have noticed is that if you actually push the earbud right in, that kind of blocks the microphone hole so that the sound might be uh, slightly different. So what you have to make sure is that when you actually make a phone call, receive a phone call, you have to slightly nudge it. The top bin needs to go a bit front and make sure the microphone uh, hole that actually uh, is actually supposed to be projects near to your mouth. So otherwise, the sound quality is pretty good. Well done. So I thoroughly enjoy the unboxing experience of Mi 4S model. I mean, the quality is really good, especially the case itself is metal coated. This is probably the first earbud case that I've ever seen that actually comes with a metal case and it's very smooth. It feels like you actually pick up one of the smoothest, roundest rock in the middle of the shore or the seaside and so on. So that's really good. Also the USB-C charging cable, it's flat head, which means it's gonna last long and it's a nice color and design. So I'm thoroughly gonna enjoy this, uh, using this uh, for charging any USB related device and so on. Now, when it comes to the noise cancellation for Mi 4S, it's a bit of a disappointment because I cannot really distinguish between the mild noise cancellation and the strong noise cancellation. And when it comes to the ambient sound, it's not as clear as the standard of what I know the ambient sound should be, especially when I compare with the experience of the Sony XM4. The sound quality itself I think the, the beat sounds definitely the same. The treble is also the same, almost the same. Uh, but when it comes to the mid, Sony XM4 wins. And probably it's because the Sony XM4, uh, the noise cancellation is almost to the level of perfection of our understanding. And if you easily compare the size between these two, uh, the Mi 4S model is really compact and Sony XM4 is really chunky. And maybe the reason Sony XM4 is really chunky is that they really wanted to strengthen the noise cancelling. I think the thickness is because of the noise cancelling function that they really want to emphasize. Uh, but comparing, because it's actually uh, very compact, the Mi 4S model, you could definitely use it for uh, sleeping uh, function as well. So you could put it on, as I shown on my earlier on my video, you could definitely listen to any YouTube or um, any music that you prefer other than the program, the, the designated one of each brand that tells you what you need to listen to and so on. So uh, that's a huge bonus for me for S and I really, really look forward to use this for long term for sleeping purpose. So this will definitely be used for sleeping earbuds um, and occasionally for workout because this is a definitely a IPX6 or 7 waterproof. So that's really good and so on. So um, overall, I have to say this is a very good price, good quality sleeping and workout uh, sound quality earbuds and, and so on. But um, I hope this video explain overall the feel of what this earbud is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye bye.